think one really awesome thing about the residency is that there's really no limit in what you can do for professional development. So um, folks have, obviously, there's been a lot of people who've done research because that's, I think, what is on top of mind for folks during this time. Um, people have done the biodesign fellowships, obviously been involved in innovation and device technologies, which has been really special. And we actually had a resident a few years ago actually go to France to pursue a design fellowship. So really has been, it feels like the sky's the limit just because folks have whatever we've found that has encapsulated our interest we've been able to do during this time. I chose to do the Stanford Intermountain Fellowship, which is a public health and uh, delivery science fellowship. And so I'm taking that in current concurrence with a master's in biomedical informatics, and my interest is developing and implementing machine learning models into the healthcare workflow. It's actually a very unique fellowship. It's relatively young. It's a partnership between Stanford Hospital and Intermountain Health. Um, obviously, two wonderful and very different sort of institutions. Stanford's very academic, quaternary care, Intermountain, um, famous for a capitated, half capitated model, and really forward thinking in terms of cost savings um, and resource stewardship in healthcare. And so, the, inter uh, the Intermountain Fellowship is sort of the intersection of those those training paradigms. It's been very cool. When you're a resident, when you're operating, you know, the patient, the person right in front of you is who you, all your attention is on, um, or the patient list in the hospital. And really, this time has given me the chance to think a lot more broadly about population health and also uh, about like what is a responsible surgeon, not only to their patients, but to the population at large and to um, our health care delivery systems.